hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl wendy and i'm back with another video guys i hope you are well and i hope you are safe guys forget to mask up wherever you go so if you are wondering where this top is from it's from my online store if you don't know already i have an online store called shop wendy's wardrobe you can locate us on instagram okay yeah so that's where i got this cutie little top <laughs> Hey, hey. Yes. subscribe don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and join the win game and yes guys i upload every wednesdays and sundays okay so please mark your calendars and get ready for me okay because this year i'm going to be giving you content upon content i'm going to be giving you back to back content okay yeah so without further ado let's get straight into so the video. as you guys have already seen um yes like i think in 2020 i did a poll about how like it was more of a recommendation okay like how to find swim coaches in ghana and the people on my people on instagram recommended a lot of play a lot of teachers for me to check them. if you're not following me on instagram sis what are you doing with your life go ahead and get to instagram and then check the wendy Minta and follow me okay. suggested a lot of swim coaches for me to check them okay and as i interacted with them i realized that they are prices was more than their their prices were more than my budget which is quite okay because if you can't afford somebody you don't need to go and say that their pricing are expensive and all those things there's no need uh, there's no need for that okay you have to respect people for their price you want to swim like why do you even want to learn how to swim okay did you guys know that swimming helps in your overall physical and mental health I bet you didn't know that because swimming is the only exercise that when you are doing it involves your whole body and it's a lifelong skill okay so when something happens you are on a boat somewhere and I'm not saying it's going to capsize but what if it capsizes? you've already learned this learned this skill already and you can exhibit it there okay so the question how did I find my swimming coach okay you would know that i really like to use google maps on everything that i'm doing like especially to find locations that i've not been to to read reviews on locations and all those things so the first place that i went to was on google maps okay so i i searched swimming pool and then lo and behold um i saw a lot of recommendations in on the google app and then i i think I saw Bema Camp Sports Center, which was about eight kilometers away from where I lived, and which was cool because when I read the reviews on it, they had like a really big pool. They had um, the pool is always cleaned twice a week, and there were a lot of reviews about the place. Okay, so I'm like, okay, let me just go and check this place out for myself. So. I went there on a Sunday and usually when you go there on Sunday, Sundays are like their busy days. A lot of people come on Sundays. And you have to pay 20 CDs for using the facilities. The facility, um, the things on the facilities include the tennis court, basketball court, football pitch, swimming pool, and a gym. They have all these things there. So when you pay 20 CDs, you have access to all these places so mine was just to learn how to swim so when i went there i bought my i paid for um, the access to use the place and then those any swim coach okay so he recommended one guy for me and the thing about um Bema camp sports center is that if you don't if you are not a certified coach like if you're not a certified coach you're not allowed to teach anybody how to swim and you as the student you can ask you can request for their certificates to show that indeed they are really certified to do whatever that they are doing okay um, i met my coach he was very nice and the first day um i'll insert a video somewhere here of how i fared the, the very first day we did our lessons and i wasn't i mean it was the first day so i mean you could see for yourself that um it wasn't easy for me because 
I, I mean, I, I don't have any swimming skills whatsoever. That was my first time actually getting in the pool trying to swim. Because all this time, I usually get in the pool and just walk or just try and do some awam swimming. But this was actually getting in the pool and then swimming like, trying to swim like a professional or somebody who knows how to swim. Okay, yeah. So before we even started, we had to negotiate um, the price for the tuition okay but before i even spoke to him i was spoken to one guy and he was telling me that okay so he's going to charge me 600 cities for 12 weeks and i'm like eh hey i'm like hey then we were trying to beat um be down the price and turned out that the guy wasn't a professional coach so they had to um we, uh, the receptionist came to see us trying to negotiate and i was like oh i shouldn't mind this guy I, he, then he gave me a coach to um, help me with my my swimming and that's how come we negotiated our price so yes so the next question would be how much did i pay did i pay okay so yes before I even get into the nitty gritty of how much I paid. Getting to use the pool is 20 cities. That's a given. If you use any pool as a hotel, be mindful that you are going to pay an amount for um, using the pool. It ranges from 20 cities to 70, some even 100. Okay, but where I went was 20 Ghana cities. And how much did I pay him for his tuition? So, um, I paid, um, so he said he was going to charge 600 cities. I'm like, I don't know, it's like 600 cities is the amount that all of them they collect at that place. But I told them that, like, we, we should be down the price, okay? So we came to um, 450. So he agreed to take 450 for 12 weeks, and that's where we settled on. So I gave him, I think. That day, I sent him half deposit of the, the total amount. So if you don't have money up front, you can pay in installments. Swimming, like anything else, is a mindset. You have to set up your mind to be able to do whatever you want your body to do. That's like the, the baseline for all of these things. That's like the baseline for swimming, okay? Because um, for someone like me that I don't know how to swim whatsoever and I enter the pool sometimes when I'm trying to even start to float I get a lot of fears I get a lot of imaginations in my head I found what if this happened what if a lot of what ifs so you just have to relax. You just have to relax and believe in yourself that you will be able to float so we started I think the first time we started like we tried to learn how to float and then the subsequent ones, I, I did a bubble, like a bubble, you have to try and blow it into the water. Yeah, so now I can be able to do that. Hello. hello how are you how is it going you're doing well in the meantime <laughs> but let's, let's see how it will work it will be it's it's okay. on water when you're floating in the swimming pool there's a way that you stand there's a technique that you have to do to stand okay i'm learning all that i'm learning how to breathe under water i'm learning how to swim for it now i think i have a couple of techniques to go okay i'm not done with my 12 weeks yet but who knows i give you an update of whatever happens okay so if this video has been informative if it has been interesting don't forget to give your sister girl 
a thumbs up comment and share okay if you don't understand anything if you have any question please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment box as i as i'm always replying to comments okay so please leave them in the comment box and i will answer them okay so thank you so much okay so if you haven't subscribed until now girl what are you doing hit the subscribe button and let's get going okay so i'll see you in my next video bye